In this video, we will take a look at the new updates to Microsoft Whiteboard for the web, for the Teams app, and for Android. Okay, so here I am at office.com, Office 365 Home. I'm going to find my white Microsoft Whiteboard app. Here it is. And we'll get into this and we'll take a look at some of these new updates. So I'm going to go ahead and open an existing whiteboard that I've created and we'll take a look at what we have available to us. Now, you may remember that uh, with your toolbar, with your pens, uh, we used to only have the four colored pens and the eraser. That's all we had, but you can see now that there's quite a few pieces now added to this. We have a highlighter tool and we have uh, the ability to add text boxes, sticky notes, and shapes. So a lot of new things here. Now in addition to that, you have more colors available to you to choose from. So if you click on the pen, you will then see that you have a thickness setting up to six, and you also have a variety of colors here to choose from now. That's with all four of the pens. With your highlighter, you can also to click two times on this to get, again, your uh, adjust the size of your highlighter up to six, and you have more colors to choose from here. Okay, and so this just makes a really nice addition to uh, working on your whiteboard. Now we also have the text box, which is, as you probably know, you simply are able to click and begin typing in content onto your whiteboard. And then you can resize this, you can move it around uh, the whiteboard space wherever you'd like to put it. Then you have your sticky notes, again a variety of colors there, and you can place that on your slide. So lots of cool uh, new features here, and then of course we have the shape tool. You can choose from a variety of shapes, and then you click, and you can resize your shape. You can also change the color and style, or I should say the border. So really nice features here. Now, the other cool thing that you have is the ability to manage who has edit rights to your whiteboard. This comes into play when you're in a meeting. So if I jump over here to a meeting that I'm currently in, uh, let's say I'm meeting with students online, I can come over here to my share button. I can select Microsoft Whiteboard as the content I would like to share. This will go ahead and generate a brand new whiteboard for me. And as we saw in the browser, we have the same toolbar with the added features. We also now have the ability to decide who can edit this whiteboard. There might be times when you want to be the only person in control of the whiteboard for times when you want to do some direct instruction. So you can click on the gear right here and you can see this setting. It says other participants can edit. Well, if I turn that off, now only I have control of this whiteboard. So this is a nice feature we've been waiting for for a long time and really happy to have this ability to switch this on and off. When I'm ready to have my students interact with me, I can go ahead and turn this back on and they will be able to edit my whiteboard. All right, so those are the new features of Microsoft Whiteboard for the web, for Microsoft Teams, and for the Android mobile device.